Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're working on the mini again. Uh, I'm gonna continue with my whole yellow theme. So, unfortunately my camera was dead at the start so I couldn't film the first part of the video. But I'll show you what I'm doing so far. So... So today, working on the brake calipers, we're gonna be making them yellow. So let me show you what I'm using for everything. So got here some brake clean. So this is gonna be the first part that you're gonna be using to basically just clean off any like dirt and everything that you have on the brake pad and caliper. And you're gonna be combining that with using some steel wool and you can use some wire brush. So once you're done cleaning that thoroughly, then you're gonna to wanna to use some acetone to clean off the rest of like the grease and all the residue that's left on. And then from there, you know, you can get into like the masking and covering everything up that you need. And then we're gonna get into primer, the yellow, and then the clear. So let me show you what I got so far. Like again, the camera was dead so I couldn't, and I wanted to start before the day got hot. So I already got one coat of primer on there, on the front, and we got, one coat of primer on the rear. Now you want to do the first couple of coats kind of light and then do like a full pass over and then you can get into using the yellow. So these are the first steps. Again, sorry guys, I didn't be, you know, I wasn't able to film this, but uh, I'll show you my next steps. Now this is just like a quick little like DIY how to do your calipers. You know, you could get a lot more in depth. You know, you could take the calipers off, do them on like a bench or something, but uh, this is just the cheapest way and the fastest way to save time. So I'm probably gonna end up doing like, three coats, four coats of this uh, flame proof primer. It's a high temp, so it doesn't peel, doesn't crack any of that. Then most likely gonna do like four, five coats of the yellow, and then finish with like two or three coats of clear. So just so that it's really like durable, it's sturdy. I actually ended up doing the other side about a week ago. Let me show you. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see through the wheel. You could probably yeah, the camera picks it up. Wheels are dirty, sorry about that. But that's the, that's the front driver. And then the rear driver side. So this was about a week ago that I did this. I was gonna do them all in one in one day, but uh ended up running out of light. And I started kinda late, so that's why I'm trying to get an early start this morning just to finish up this side. So yeah, once again, this is what you're gonna want to use. This is everything you basically need here, all in one. Let me just put that all together. So, brake clean, wire brush and steel wool, acetone to clean everything up after, primer first, yellow, then the clear, and let's try. I just wanted to show you guys the yellow progress so far. So, got the yellow club sticker, put my yellow harnesses in, same company that I had before but now it's just yellow. I think it looks super good. The stitching on the seats are done, now they're black. And today, I'm actually taking my mirror caps to go get wrapped, so. We got some yellow wrap to, it's almost identical to the harness, so I think that's gonna look super good. Mirrors are gonna get done. Brakes will be done today, so the car's gonna be almost done, aesthetically, until, you know, obviously some more mods in the future, but uh, for now, the car's coming along pretty, pretty quickly. All these little, Things that I'm doing, obviously, you know, it's all in the uh, details. So, right now, let me show you guys what I got so far. I've got two coats of the primer on the front. And two coats of primer on the rear. Like I said, I might do one or two more, depending how it covers. It's covering really well. So, we'll see how that comes out. Then we can start spraying the yellow. And then we can do the clear, let it dry, and it should come out really, really nice. So this is going to be my last coat of primer. So Now with the primer, you want to be very like liberal because if not, and you hold it in one place too long, you're going to get some like clots and you're probably going to get some runs and you know, you don't want to overspray either. So it should be like super light coats. It'll cover everything really nicely. So just make sure to shake the can normally and just
That'll be the last coat. Primer there for that one. Looks nice. And then same goes for the driver's side. As you can see, the whole caliper is covered now. So we're gonna let this dry for a little bit and then come back and start hitting it with the yellow. All right guys, so we'll let about like half an hour pass. So we're gonna be doing the first coat of yellow. So, make sure to shake the can properly. The first coat, you don't wanna do it too heavy. So just gonna Just lay the yellow on there. It's gonna be a super light coat. It's not gonna be perfect, obviously, the first pass. Just leave it light so you get no runs, no drips. And we'll do the same to the front. Just again, make sure that shake the can well. And same thing. And that's the first coat for the front. All right guys, so about to get into the second coat. Now, I'm probably not gonna show you every single coat I do. I'll probably show you this one and then show you the yellow at the end, but I'm letting about like 10 to 15 minutes uh, per coat to let it dry. And uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, as you go up in coat, you could go a little thicker, a little more, a little more just to cover everything. But once again, you know, you don't wanna hold it in one spot too long or you'll get some runs and drips and then it's gonna look really bad. So let me get the second coat and then after this we'll show you the yellow completed and then go into the clear and then show you the end result. That was a good coat right there. As you go up in coats, like I said, you're gonna wanna, you know, get a little thicker just to be able to cover everything so it looks, you know, almost, almost perfect. It's not gonna be perfect, but almost perfect. And same goes with the front. the second coat for the front. All right guys, so this is the four coats on the caliper. It looks really, really good. I'm gonna be doing one more than letting it dry for probably half an hour to 45 minutes, and then apply the clear and then it should be done. So, one more coat should do the trick. All right guys, so that's the last coat. Everything is covered, looks really nice. Last coat, so now I'm probably gonna apply like two or three coats of the clear. Let that dry fully, show you the end result, put the wheels back on and see what the car looks like. So, super simple process. Should take maybe a couple hours if you do it right. All right guys, so about to start the clear coat. So I'm gonna be using this gloss clear so it's been about I'll say like an hour letting this dry I had to do a couple of things so I let it sit so about to do probably like two or three coats let that sit for about an hour then throw on the wheels see what it looks like so it is looking pretty good that's the front and the rear they look pretty pretty good in my opinion, not perfect, but decent. Just let me set that up there.
front. So the clear will help protect the yellow, plus it'll give it a glossy finish, which is what I want. So I'm gonna let that sit, probably do another two coats and let it dry and that will complete this job. All right guys, so we got two coats of clear, about to do the last one now. That's two coats of clear. I think three should be okay. All right guys, and that will finish. So we got the back. We've got the front. And that is pretty much the finished product right there. All right guys, so pretty much that's the whole process of getting your brakes done. Uh, you know, if you wanna change color, it's super cheap, so I'll just go over again what I used, like the steps, you know, and what order to use everything, and that's pretty much it. Then I'll put a picture at the end of the video showing the end result with the wheels on and whatnot, so remember. First thing you need is brake clean. You're gonna spray this all over your calipers, whatever, you know. You can use wire brushes to clean the outside, to scrub the outside, and then you want to use the steel wool to get into the crevices. Then next you're going to use the acetone to clean up any of like, you know, anything that's left over, grease and whatnot. You can use a microfiber, that's what I did. Just put some on here, microfiber, rub it down, make sure, you know, no more dirt and everything comes off so you know it's clean. After that, you know, you want to mask off. So what I did, just to show you, I just take a garbage bag, open it up, put it over the caliper, make a little hole, just Took another garbage bag just to cover everything else up here. This for the back. And same thing for the front. Literally just make a hole right there, put it over the caliper. That covers it. This is all masked off here. So after you mask, just get a good flame proof. This is a high temp primer. This is good for right here, 1300 to 2000 degrees. So, you know, it won't chip, it won't melt fade whatever so this will be good you want to do three or four coats of the primer just to get it you know nice get a yellow well whatever color you're gonna use I did four or five coats of this and then you want to end up with a clear I did three coats of this so right here you're gonna be cleaning everything with your ray clean acetone and then your paints and the, one of the most important things is to just let it dry properly so you know I left I left uh, like 20 mini gaps between each coat pretty much and then between the yellow and the clear it was about an hour just so that it dried properly so I'm gonna let this dry for a couple hours throw the wheels on like I said I'll post a pic so like I said, everything was about like 40 bucks for the paint, bags, the wire brushes, steel wool. So it's pretty cheap. And if you have a couple hours of your day just to do it, you know, it beats paying a shop, you know. Um, just clean everything thoroughly. Make sure not to spray in the same spot too much. And yeah, so it should come out really good. I think mine came out really well. It's going to match the whole theme of my car now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's a tedious process. It takes a little while, but definitely worth it and it could definitely change the look of your car so more videos to come out soon thank you guys for watching and have a good one